when you're first starting out as an independent game developer, you're running on savings, you don't have any income, and um, it really helps to know your burn rate to help you figure out how much time you have before you're out of money. Uh, calculating your burn rate is actually fairly simple. Uh, you need to take your total expenses and divide it by 12, and you got your estimated monthly expenses. Uh, for some things, like rent, which you probably pay every month, um, you can determine that just by looking at the number that you write on your checks every month. For other expenses, like I have car insurance payments, uh, that comes twice a year. So I'll just add the, the total of those two payments and then divide by 12 and I've got my monthly payments for that. So I take all of my monthly uh, expenses, place, you know, add them all up, and I've got my total monthly expenses. And that's my burn rate, how much money I'm spending per month. Using that number, I can figure out um, how much time I have before I run out of savings. So I take all of my savings, I divide it by the um, total monthly expenses, and now I know how many months I have before I'm out of money. And um, that helps in a number of ways. One, looking at that, uh, that number, I can try and improve it. So, for instance, uh, the years before I quit my uh, day job, I looked at what I had on average, and I was spending $95 a month um, eating at restaurants, like whether I was meeting with people to have a nice dinner, or if I was going to eat just, you know, an apple at a Starbucks or something like that. Um, so in the year that since I quit my day job, I've actually brought that down to $15 a month, which is a significant amount of savings. I've uh, managed to extend my burn rate a number of different ways. So, like, for instance, um, I would go to the movies or otherwise, you know, have entertainment expenses. $110 a month on average before I quit my job. After that, it was less than $2 a month. So I was pretty good about cutting back on expenses I didn't need to and focusing on my business. Um, other things went up, like insurance, because now I needed to pay for my own health insurance and I had renter's insurance and car insurance payments went up. But uh, for the most part, I was able to save a lot of money by looking at the expenses I did have and cutting those down, which extended my burn rate, which meant that instead of only having a year um, of savings, I actually had more like a year and a half of savings, uh, which might not sound like much, but that extra six months can really help.